How to Snowboard Backside No Slide on a Box This time, we are going to learn how to do a backside no slide while sliding on a box, with our lower body twisted in the direction of travel and our upper body twisted toward the rear. So, to start off, let's take a look at the key points of this tutorial. 1. Keep your head stand straight. 2. Weight on your heel and knees are aligned over the toe edge before takeoff. 3. Wait for the proper timing to take off. 4. Jump forward instead of jumping perpendicular onto the item. 5. Rotate your hips forward. 6. Keep your shoulders parallel to the direction. 7. Pull your hind elbow up high. 8. Extend your rear leg. 9. Look at the end. There are many kinds of styles depending on the person and tricks where this coolness comes out. Even though it can be a simple trick that intermediate level snowboarders long to be able to do. One bad thing that occurs extremely often in a backside board slide is a crash toward the heel side while on the box. Kind of scary feeling, isn't it? This is because you're bearing in mind what it's like to lean your body uphill while you have your board turned horizontally on the hill. On the box, you want to make your board flat and makes your body straight. However, even though you understand this much, you can't seem to do it. So, let's acquire this skill safely and systematically. Step 1. Flat ground. Get on your board and practice. From a forward facing position, jump and push your lower body out toward the outside. At this point, one of your feet which is pressed down on the board will come under your hips. Without moving your lower body, assuming if you try to move your center of gravity above your legs, big movements with your head would make balance more difficult. It's scary when you change your base, but the best way to maintain your balance is to not move your head. Imagine that you will move your lower body without changing the position of your upper body. These are the fundamentals of a press trick. Next, bring one of your feet below your center of gravity while twisting your body. First, face the front and from your forelegs bearing the weight, turn your upper body and head in the direction of your back leg. At this point, Fix your hips and lower body so that they don't rotate or move. The image here is that your head and upper body are straight, but you should rotate your upper body toward your back legs. Please use your body to remember this twisted posture and balance. Here, at the same time, it would be even better if you could also have the image of yourself riding a box or rail. Next, from this sliding posture, jump and try to go into the posture that you just remembered. It's easy to go into with an image similar to a frontside 90 spin. Try to not rotate your shoulders and fix your shoulder line parallel with your direction of movement. At this point, because of the twist in your lower body, your upper body will be pulled toward the front as well. Therefore, spin both of your arms just a little toward the rear and fix your upper body so that it doesn't spin. While twisting your hips 90 degrees toward the front, keep only your forelegs below your center of gravity. Since you want to put plenty of weight on your forelegs, extend your hind legs and try to not touch the ground. If you practice this movement without your board attached, check the angle of your feet and hips like this. Make the direction and width of both of your legs the same as you would for the width or angle of a binding. Be sure to specially spin your forelegs 90 degrees, the same as your hips. 
There is no need for your head and upper body to be perfectly straight, but by having this image when actually riding on an object, you'll be able to maintain your balance. Next, imagine that there is a box behind you. It would be good if you could actually draw out a box or rail on the surface of the snow. This time, since you are going to move your body a little further out, circumstances like the following might occur. Only your hips moving over the object. Your center of gravity not moving over the object. Meaning that your butt is on, but your center of gravity isn't on the object, so that your head is not over the object. If you ride the object with your head and butt both aligned over the object, your body will stand straight up on the pressing point. Which means all of your weight will be on the pressing point, making your balance even better. If your butt is on the object, but your head isn't, it'll make the upper half of your body lean and make it hard to balance and control while on the object. Furthermore, since your center of gravity is not over the object, when you actually are on the object, you could end up falling off it. Here are the key points for practicing with the line you have drawn in the snow. 1. Place your lower chest directly above the line. 2. Make your head straight. Try writing with the points above in your mind so your body can learn the best controlled standing position over the object. In addition to this, you should have the image of jumping toward the end of the object and not that of jumping toward the object horizontally from the heel side. By doing this, it will be harder for your upper body to tilt over and it will be easier to go into the posture that you should already have remembered from above. Be sure to go through this repeatedly until you remember the correct posture and balance. So let's review the key points you learned in step 1. 1. Keep your head stand straight. 2. Take off with a high posture. 3. Rotate your hips forward. 4. Bring your forefoot under your hips. 5. Extend your rear leg. 6. Keep your shoulders parallel to the direction. 7. Rotate your arms slightly backward. Next time, try to use what you have learned out of the slopes. Okay. Want to learn more with us and want more challenges? Watch all video tutorials that are only available on our website. You will get more of the world's best theories to solve your problem and boost your snowboarding skills. Get the world's best coaching methods based on the coaching of national level athletes. Boost your snowboard intelligence with us. Snowboard Dojo Wiz, an expert coaching intermediate snowboarders.